Hi guys, it's Alicia here from Mystical Moonflower, and today I have a new mystery witchy subscription box to uh, share with you guys. This is from Isis over on June Mermaid. I will leave her channel linked down below. She also has a website now where you can purchase a lot of wonderful witchy goodies. I will leave that down below as well. The box is open because I started this recording and um, I messed up. It is I just paused it and then it didn't start back up. So I know like maybe three things that's in this box as of right now. It is by far the biggest witchy box I have ever received. So <laughs> I'm completely in shock right now. And I'm just going to go through like I haven't seen the first few things, but we're going to start this over and I might not pause it because I don't want to ruin this video so if you guys ha um did happen to purchase this box and you don't want any spoilers please don't watch this video but again this is from june mermaid it is the sanderson six the sanderson sisters box no the lost sanderson sister box so and i think she's gonna be putting these out like bi-monthly but it is a beast look how big it is so we're just going to get into this so i can start showing you the goodies that have arrived in this amazing witchy box so far you guys can kind of see the inside it is just stuffed and it's huge so it has a little scroll which might be our spoiler so i don't want to look at that yet and i'm just going to start grabbing this stuff that i have already um seen so in this little bag We have some cute little green stockings and they're nice and stretchy. And then we have the nice gothic witchy, um, I don't know, these are for your arms, but I can't think of what they're called. So we have these guys. Okay, I'm hoping you guys can see that. So. This was it. There came a, uh, this with a cute little sticker. And in it, let me drop everything. We have this cutie, which is from um, the bathing garden, and it's hallowed ground wax tarp. And this box smells amazing. And it smells like this. And I love that. And then we have um, the Sanderson Sisters Green Apple caramel candy corn and marshmallow from vintage chic and it smells delicious as well and then we have some nice white tea lights and then i also received she was doing um the first few orders got um an extra gift and I was the second order. So I have a nice, beautiful Labradorite, Palo Santo, and a clear, a clear crystal quartz. So that was very nice and thank you for that. Let me have this beautiful black sachet here. Okay, so I'm now into the stuff that I don't know what is in the box. So this is the first set of stuff that I pulled out of the box. And here is another goodie. And we have a cute, adorable little witch's hat. Look at that. That is too cute. All right, and then we have a nice little velvet bag. What is this? Oh, that is cute. Okay, so this is the book. Look at that eye. From Hocus Pocus. That is too cute. Oh, look at that little adorable guy. And then we have another bag. This, I'm telling you, this box is just, it keeps going and going. And then we have... Oh, it's adorable. Is it a pen? It is. It is a adorable little cat pen. So here it is out of its pack package. Look 
at that cutie. And then we have another um, bubble wrap piece. <laughs> Love this. So we have Witch's Salt. Banish the bullshit and protect your space. Absolutely. And this is what it looks like on the top. This is adorable. Look at all those nice goodies in there. Oh, I love that. All right, and then we have a, another nice big box. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. That is adorable. So it's a cauldron oil burner. Let's see what it looks like. And here we have that cutie. Look at that. I don't have anything like this. So this is going to be nice in my collection. Okay. I am just freaking out about <laughs> how much stuff is in this box. So we have this here. So I'm going to open it and see what it is. <laughs> you guys are not going to believe what this is. It is a freaking cloak it is a cloak a beautiful green hooded amazing cloak um it was a size extra large i'm a thick girl and it fits me perfect <laughs> so <laughs> i have a fucking cloak and i am so excited oh my gosh let me try to get this on the table all right so this guy is the Hooded cloak. I don't know how to get it up here where you guys can see it, but I love it. <laughs> it's amazing. And if, if the box ended here, I would I would be ecstatic, but it doesn't. It's still going. So let's see what else we have. Okay, I just seen what the last thing is in the box, and I'm completely freaking. So uh, we have these cute little stickers. I'm dropping everything. We have potions and spells, a cute little black cat, a cute little potion bottle, some witchy boots and legs, I put a spell on you, I really like that one, adorable little pumpkin. We have this guy. And then we have a Happy Halloween, the Magic Broom Closet. That's adorable. So we have this guy. And then we have a black envelope that says, Come, we fly, with a gorgeous wax stamp. Let's see what's in it. And we have some more cute little stickers. Look at all these little guys. Oh look, another glorious morning makes me sick. I actually just watched that movie the other day. Spells. And then I have a card here and it is the High Priestess, Responsibility, and let's get to this last item, All right, <laughs> and I'll give you a sneaky peek, can you figure out what it is yet, let's see what she looks like, alright, and here is the star of the show, look at this beauty, and it smells amazing. But look at those herbs on there. And I know exactly where I'm going to hang this at. And then we have, flip it around here. We have a key. This is at the end of the string. We have the sun and moon. We have a cute little potion bottle. And we have a feather with a cute little brown ribbon. 
Let me get this up and then we'll see what this has to say. Okay, I'm hoping that I got this where you guys can see um, everything that is in this box. We're going to go over this real quick and then we are going to talk about this amazing box. I didn't even realize, but this scroll is held with this cute little metal ring with a broom and a witch's hat. Okay, so we have the Lost Sanderson Sister. It says, growing up on Hocus Pocus was a huge love of mine, and it still is. It inspired me in so many ways. I thought it would be fun to create a box inspired. I'm trying to read through the beat fire. Let me just take this away. I thought it would be fun to create a box inspired by it, and so the journey began. As you may know, I have a little experience with mystery boxes, as I have learned over time what it is that I look forward to in a box. Since the last couple years have been far too serious and lacking in joy, I wanted to create a lighthearted box that would resonate with a child within. I truly hope you love the items, have fun with them, and use them in whichever way you feel called to. After all, it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. So the first thing she talks about is, of course, is the witch's cloak. It says you will receive one of three different cloaks, wine red, forest green, and black with blue lining. I wanted, I wanted to be size exclusive, so I ordered these in extra large to hopefully fit more people. It's far easier to make something smaller than bigger. That is definitely true. Does anything feel witchier than wearing a cloak? No, it doesn't. <laughs> and then we have the cauldron tea light burner. This adorable warmer has a bubbling cauldron design. You can use it to melt wax or warm an oil. I have included a couple of tea lights and wax scents for you to melt. Leaf and pumpkin wax. I'm so thrilled to be able to include two different scent options from two of my favorite wax vendors. Hallowed Ground is a custom scent for this box by The Bathing Garden. The scent reminds me of an evening stroll through the graveyard on Samhain. Scent notes are pumpkin spice, graveyard dirt, and fall leaves. Then we have the Sanderson Sisters by Vintage Chic Scents. This scent reminds me of coming home after trick-or-treating and binging on all those treats. Pure October sweetness. Scent notes are green apple, caramel, candy corn, and marshmallow. And then she goes on to tell you how to, to use them. And then we have Come We Fly Envelope. Contains a Witch's Wisdom Oracle card by Barbara... No, I'm not sure... And, I don't know, and 12 fun witchy stickers. Um, that is who the oracle is by. I do not know how to pronounce that name. And then we have the witch's salt. This four ounce jar is my own version of witch's salt. It contains all organic ingredients, black Hawaiian sea salt, rue, mugwort, and essential oils of cinnamon, rosemary, clove, orange, and eucalyptus. Inside is a smoky quartz point to protect you from negative negativity and ground your space. This blend is great for using around your property line for protection and banishment. You can also use it on candles, working on the altar, or, or whatever else you feel called to. I didn't even open that up, so let's look at that. Alright, this is what she looks like, and it smells amazing. Oh my gosh. That is definitely fall fall in a bottle. Wow. All right. The next thing is the Book of Shadows necklace. Who can forget this infamous, infamous book that caused such a ruckus? With this cute pendant, never fear as it, it will always be close by. We have the Witch's Hat Obsidian. I cannot resist including this carved obsidian stone in the shape of a witch's hat. Obsidian is strongly protective stone. It forms a shield against negativity. It blocks psychic, psychic attacks and absorbs negative energies from the environment. Then we have the flying cat pin. If Thackeray Beaks wasn't so grumpy and tired, I imagine he would have some fun. Who can resist a cat in a hat on a broom? Pin whatever you like or even on your cloak. Then we have the, the be I can never say that. The besom. 
use them. Does them, bees them. The broom. <laughs> These are 39 inches, give or take, and have herbs from my garden and my dad's. They have the following charms in varying shades. A life potion bottle, a skeleton key, moon and sun, and a feather for flight. Herbs are Russian, Russian, Russian sage, represents power, success, safety during travel, and has a strong character. Yerba, Yerba Bueno, I don't know how to say that, related to the element air, used in ritual to cleanse, purify, and balance, as well as attracting the abundance and opportunities. Then we have lavender for protection and purification. Lavender is said to have strong spiritual properties and high vibrations that can help to bridge the pathway in communicating with angels and higher self. And then we have white sage. White sage is the herbs of purification and protection of the physical and spiritual bodies. It is used for cleansing, healing, warding off evil, and creation of sacred space. And then we have rosemary, the clear quartz of herbs for cleansing, purifying, and protection from negativity. The next thing she talks about is the witch's socks and cobweb gloves. To me, these green, black, knee-high socks are consensually witchy, as are the cobweb gloves. You can wear them in your cloak, wear them, wear them with your cloak or to warm your arms this autumn. The socks can be a fun little secret under clothing or to be worn proudly. And the broom closet sign. This adorable sign can be hung wherever you please to decorate for Samhain or year round. And it says, Thanks, thank you so much for being part of this new journey. Wishing you a truly magical Samhain, Isis. And that, and this is everything I just read to you guys if you want to. If you want to pause, read about it. And who is the herb? The yerba, and that's what it says about that, and I couldn't pr pronounce that. So that is that page. And then here is the first page where she talks about socks and the other things that are in it. All right. So, I am completely, I'm in shock and all right now about this box i can't uh i can't believe how much came in it and just how nice everything is i love it all it's perfect and wow i'm speechless right now it's absolutely amazing and if you guys if you guys get this box let me know and what you thought about it because I think that she knocked it out of the park a hundred percent. I love it when people who do um, YouTubers who do witchy unboxings go on to make their own boxes because this is usually what happens. Um, you're going to get amazing, amazing witchy boxes because they know they know what they want and they. I don't know. I've just, I've never been let down by a box that has been done by a YouTube creator. And, um, I just did an amazing job. So I love everything. Everything will find a home and I can't wait to get my, my, my broom, broom hung up. It's actually going to be one right in front of me. I have the perfect spot for it. And the cloak and the socks and the obsidian stone, the warmer, the salts, everything. I, I just love everything. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this box to me was worth every penny. And I am definitely looking forward to seeing what she comes up with next because I am here for it and I will definitely be getting it. So, you guys, let me know down below what you thought about this box. And if you have not checked out um, Isis's channel yet, please do so. And also check out her website because she has some amazing stuff on there for really good prices and I actually already have some stuff that I want to buy. I just wanted to get this box first to make sure that I didn't get anything that happened to be on her website. So I'm going to be going to the Trove. I think it's Joomer Maids Trove is the name of her website and I'm going to be purchasing me some goodies. So 
Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of this box. Again, 100%. I loved it. Worth every single penny. Her prices are going to fluctuate um, from box to box, just depending on what is in it and so on and so forth. This was the um, this was $99, I believe, but to me it was worth every single solitary penny, and I love it. And I know she said that her next boxes won't be as expensive since she's finally, she's got everything ironed out on how she's going to do it. But um, she said this was probably going to be her most expensive box. But you can understand that just starting out and getting everything lined up and all that goes into creating a box. But again, I think she did an amazing, amazing job. And I can't wait to see what she comes up with next. So please go check her out if you guys haven't. Go to her website and see all of her wonderful witchy goodies that she has. And yeah, I am ready to go enjoy my Hocus Pocus goodies. So as always, guys, thanks so much for watching and for supporting my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, stay safe and please live well. Bye, guys.